Hi, John Dwyer here, and uh, I have to apologise uh, if uh, you uh, had come on earlier looking for the launch of my uh, show. Uh, but being the Virgin show, the first one that we've done at lunchtime on a Wednesday, because we're planning to do this every Wednesday, uh, guess what? There was a giant, I'll just put the word F and then dot, 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 up, okay? Uh, what happened is that we put the show out through my private uh, Facebook page, um, which is basically for family and friends, versus putting it out through the business webpage, which is the Institute of Our. Silly Billy Me, okay? Um, so therefore, that person who made that error is now being uh, escorted to the airport and they're going to be transferred to our Bangladesh office, uh, where I hopefully they'll have a nice time for the next five years tenure that they will have in our Bangladesh office. Imagine if we had an institute of our office in Bangladesh. Anyway, so therefore, if you were watching on my private Facebook page uh, with family and friends, uh, then you'll have to put up with just a little bit of a recount uh, of what I covered. And if you are somebody who got a text message or email from us and you came on, at 12 noon Queensland time or 1 p.m. Uh, New South Wales Victorian time and you saw a blank screen uh, or you saw nothing, uh, I apologise for that, okay? And uh, I'll, I don't know, get me to mow the lawn for you for two weeks or something to make up for it, okay? Um, okay, so therefore what I'm going to do, if you're with us right now, um, thanks for being on board. Uh, if I could just ask you, if you could type below, um, JD, you're forgiven. <laughs> that will make me feel good. Uh, but rather than just that, um, or oh, JD, you rat bag, I had my sandwich ready, I had my cup of coffee and my can of Coca-Cola and there was nothing. Uh, but uh, what you might like to do is just type below uh, your industry type. So are you a florist, are you a butcher, baker, candlestick maker, whatever it might be. Uh, and then what I can do is actually have a look through that as I'm doing this presentation and refer to examples that might be in your industry. Because at the Institute of WOW, uh, we've looked after pretty much every industry industry you can possibly think of with regards to marketing advice, uh, A to Z. I don't think we've done a zoo, uh, so therefore maybe A to Y, okay, X, Y, Z, yeah, A to Y. Um, okay, so my name is John DeWire, I get JD, uh, my initials, uh, pretty much since I was about 10 years of age, so therefore it, people refer to me as JD. My business, the Institute of wow.com, uh, provides marketing advice to all sorts of uh, industries and all types of businesses. But enough of that, why you're here is because uh, I'm going to showcase to you a thing called the engagement code, which is on your screen, or should be on your screen right now. Let me see. Okay. So therefore, um, this is something which we've been experimenting with on Facebook over the last six to 12 months. When I say this, I mean, we've given it this name, but we've been experimenting with a lot of money on Facebook over the last uh, 12 months. Uh, in fact, in October, uh, we spent $72,000 on Facebook, which was our largest expenditure on one month. And uh, we were pretty happy with that. It sort of uh, got a really, really good return for us. Uh, and uh, we've learned a lot of lessons as we've been testing and fixing on uh, Facebook advertising in particular over the last six or 12 months and the purpose of this uh, Facebook Live is to provide you with the learnings that we have. Now is there going to be uh, the invitation for you to fast track these learnings and implement them into your business by taking my engagement code course? Of course there will be. Okay as I've said on the uh, the Facebook Live that you probably didn't see <laughs> because it was on my other Facebook page. Um, I'm not a relative of Mother Teresa uh, and despite the fact that uh, most of these speakers out there, um, a lot of them are wankers, uh, where they say we just want to give back we want to give back to the community. No, uh, what I'm doing here is sampling, just like the sausage sizzle outside the butcher shop. I'm giving you a sample of our wizardry and our learnings that we've spent a lot of time and money in, and I'm giving it to you for free, so that if you want to pick this stuff up that I'm about to give you and just you know implement it yourself, that's fine, no problems at all. But if you really wanted to fast track it because you're time poor like I am, then you can just join our course. We have an eight week uh, engagement code uh, course coming up that'll start in two weeks time. It's the uh, Tuesday the 26th of February and every consecutive Tuesday for eight weeks uh, you can spend time on a live Zoom call personally with me running through the eight components of putting together this engagement code um, social media advertising for your business. Uh, you won't be talking to someone else, it'll be with me so you'll be a live coaching uh, Zoom call uh, at uh, I think 10 a.m. Queensland time, I'm pretty sure that's it, every Tuesday from the 26th of February and uh, we'll help you fast track the implementation of what you're about to learn into your business and hopefully you can enjoy some avalanche response. Okay, so let me tell you what the engagement code is. I'll bring the uh, screen back up again to the, uh, to the logo. We're calling it the Facebook engagement code. It could easily be Instagram as well, okay? It can go across other platforms, but because most of you I know are frustrated with Facebook not giving you the return on investment
that that you'd love, then we're calling it the Facebook engagement code and it's how to attract a whole bunch of leads, all right? Now, the code has three elements and uh, what I'm going to do is give you the rundown on those three elements today so that you can just swipe this idea and use it in your own business or if you want to help us, uh, sorry, if you, <laughs> if you want to help us, give us some money, but if you want us to help you, then you can join my eight-week course which starts on Tuesday the 26th of February. Now, the three uh, elements are long-form copy ads and uh, the reason I want to bring this up to you is that a lot of people think that when you're putting together a Facebook ad that uh, yeah, conventional wisdom should be that you would just have a very short teaser copy on top of your photo or on top of your video and just get everyone to click it as much as they can. No, 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 no. We've done a lot of testing and uh, the actual reverse, diametrically the reverse to that is true in terms of what you should be doing, in our opinion at least anyway. I mean, you do what you like, but you know, we've tested this with quite a bit of money. What you want to do is take a bunch of the copy that normally would have been on your sales page, your landing page, and put it above your photo or your video on your Facebook ad. Now, why would you want to do that? You're sitting there going, oh, JD, you must be drinking. Aside from screwing up the Facebook Live or the wrong channel, uh, you must have been drinking over lunch. No, no, no. Think about it. If you were just using stunt mentality to get anyone... Uh, to click that ad. And I know that if you've been doing lookalike audiences, you can argue, well, there's a good portion of the people looking at that ad that fall into your target audience anyway. Well, that might be the case. But whether they're warm is another thing. What you want to do is actually tell them a story over three, four or five or six or ten paragraphs uh, that sit on top of your photo or your video so that they are then hopefully um, someone who is a warm lead and then when they click, they've already pre-qualified themselves. Now, you know that Facebook are not going to put all of that copy straight away on top of your photo or your video. They'll just put a paragraph or two and then it says see more. You keep on clicking it to see more. But guess what? That means you're pre-qualifying the people who eventually click that you're paying for, by the way, who come through to your sales page. And uh, also, too, in terms of headlines, and I know that if you're watching it on a mobile device, the headline that happens underneath the photo or the video uh, gets cut reasonably short, but a medium to long headline is what you should be looking for. And that headline should be something to do with how to, or it should be something to do with problem solution. People want their problems um, solved. Okay, so therefore it's called problem solution advertising. In the emotional direct response world, which I have been living in for a thousand years, uh, the guys that make most of the money are the guys that follow our mantra of showcasing someone's problem and then giving them a solution. So if I get back to the slide again, the first component of this uh, engagement code uh, course that you know, you'd be invited to take, uh, is long-form copy ads. We'll go through that and give you the psychology and the rationale behind why you might like to consider changing your Facebook ads mantra from just having a little bit of copy on top of your photos or videos to having a lot of copy. Number two, teaser ads. And uh, let me explain to you what teaser ads are. Um, they are generally an advertisement that actually provides to someone a lure to click through to your landing page to either win something or to get a free report uh, or maybe get a free consult or maybe to uh, actually uh, get a free download of a video. Okay, so the whole idea is, is that, and I'll be showing you a couple of samples of this in a moment, I think you'll be blown away when you hear the results. Um, this will bring you, uh, if you do it properly, an avalanche response, no question. But it will have a percentage, we don't know what size it is until you test your product, you'll have a percentage of what we call prize pigs, okay, uh, people who may not be a warm prospect. But because it brings such a big number of, uh, of leads, uh, then there's every chance in the world that or ordinarily, if you didn't do something like this, you might get, I don't know, 10 or 20 uh, responses uh, in a day. If you get 100 or 200 responses in a day and 10 of them or 20 of them, as in 10%, uh, prize pigs, I think you'll still be happy. Okay, so therefore the whole idea of this is, is that you might, for argument's sake, I'm going to show you one in just a moment, whereby this particular gentleman got two years worth of leads in three days and had to turn the campaign off because you had the chance to win a new back fence and you clicked and went through and you did what you needed to do uh, and it was so successful that he actually had to turn it off and I'll show you exactly how you can do that for your business in just a moment. So therefore, the first of the three elements is long form copy uh, and the second is teaser ads. The third component of this is free organic traffic through Facebook Live or Instagram or YouTube, which is what you're watching right now. Let me just tell you about the free organic traffic, okay? Uh, we've only just got sensible about this Facebook Live thing ourselves in recent times, and I wished I had been onto this, you know, 200 bit years ago when Facebook released Facebook Live, but uh, we, yeah, plumber with leaking pipes, we didn't get onto it fast enough, and I'm so glad we've got onto it now. 
uh, around about two weeks ago on a Wednesday night. We did exactly what you're seeing now, but we did go out through the right channel. Uh, we had 139 people on board uh, and uh, it must have been reasonably engaging because we kept 83% of them until just about the end, which is great. Uh, and I invited people uh, at that time to, you know, uh, give a call to us. I, I told them to just go and book a wowcall.com, go to book a wow call.com and you can talk to me or one of my team and uh, you can ask us any question you like about how we can help you in your business with marketing. And so uh, guess what? Two days later, 48 hours later after we ran the Facebook Live, keeping in mind the Facebook Live is free. The only thing we did was to send out 500 text messages at 10 cents. So that's $500. We had taken, uh, what was it? I think it was, yeah, it was uh, $77,000 in two days in sales. Okay, and it looks like that's topping uh, six figures now because we've had another one come in who couldn't talk to us straight away because they're on holidays. Uh, pretty good return on five hundred dollar investment. The only investment we made was uh, five hundred dollars, uh, which was ten cents multiplied by five thousand text messages that we sent out. Which basically, you may have even got one of those today, uh, where it just said, "Oh, JD's live now. Click here and watch him on, on the Wednesday lunchtime show." Uh, so therefore, free organic traffic is available to you. But if you think that you're going to capture uh, a lot of leads from that and uh, make some money out of that if you're just going to show a photo of what you've been doing on holidays or you're showing a photo of the office or all of these silly things that I see all the time then think again you have to consider doing what we're doing right now Facebook live and if you can't talk underwater like I can or if you're not comfortable in front of the camera uh, or you're ugly <laughs> You knew a dad joke was coming, didn't you? If you're ugly or you're really small, so therefore you're down here somewhere and you don't think that you'd look good on Facebook Live, find someone else in the business who is comfortable in front of the camera and get them to do it, okay? So therefore, if you're not comfortable in front of the camera, then find someone else. Now, um, let me just take you through a few examples. And what I'm going to do is show you the execution of this, what I call engagement code process, okay? This is an example. Uh, it happens to be uh, an aluminium fence uh, company. I'm sorry if you've watched a little bit of this on my other uh, Facebook page. I'll get through this as quickly as I can so you're not bored too much, all right? But for those of you who didn't watch on the other page a moment ago, very, very quickly, this is an aluminium fence company. And this is the ad that they used to run. Boring. And basically, they thought that showing the features, as in the aluminium fence, was going to be sexy enough for you to click through. They geo-demographically uh, targeted this to older suburbs, and that's fine. But guess what? They got no response at all. And no, no surprise to me. They were showing the features, not the benefits. So therefore, when he became a member of my coaching program, uh, this is what we did. We actually changed it to the ugliest back fence in Australia contest, and we just said, listen, here's your chance to win a $5,000 back fence makeover simply by photographing your back fence, your ugly back fence, and posting it to our Facebook page. And you post a photo, you'll see the headline underneath the actual uh, photo, post a photo of your ugly back fence and have the chance of winning a brand new aluminium fence makeover worth $5,000. And we split tested that with another ad, that's another version of it. Do you think um, that that particular uh, makeover was going to cost this company $5,000? Of course it wouldn't because they're actually making the stuff to start with. What happened is that when the people posted it to their Facebook page, and this is a couple of examples, then those people glowed in the dark. They basically said, look at my ugly back fence, I want a new one. And uh, guess what? He had two years worth of leads. I'll just bring the camera back to me. He had two years worth of leads in three days. Three days. Uh, he spent 500 and something dollars over those three days on Facebook, but we had to shut it down. He rang me up and said, look, stop the campaign. I can't take any more. Now, that's a lovely problem to have. And uh, they were all warm leads. Why were they warm leads? They took a photo of the ugly falling down back fence. That's why. And they posted the photo to him on his Facebook page. <laughs> it doesn't get much warmer than that. Uh, what you've got to do when you're going to do uh, one of these teaser campaigns is make sure that the contest entry time is only five days, six days, seven days, because obviously one person will win, but you want to be able to get back to those who didn't win, which were 99% of the people, pretty quickly whilst they're still warm, okay? Let me show you another one. Uh, this one here happens to be a kitchen renovation company, and you'll see we're using the same formula here. We're just inviting people to you know, enter a survey uh, on Facebook and vote for their favourite design, uh, design A or B. 
and essentially what we're after is people who have got older homes, who've got crappy kitchens, and so therefore they would be interested in winning a kitchen makeover. And you'll see the copy on the top there is reasonably long form, although these days I'd probably even make it another paragraph or two. If you're tired of your old fashioned kitchen, imagine having the makeover you've always dreamt of. Simply take a few seconds to vote for your favorite kitchen design below. Imagine being able to devote $10,000 to a brand new kitchen. Prestige Kitchens has two new designs coming out. We just want to get feedback on which is the most popular. And you'll see there underneath the photos, we're saying you can have the chance to win a $10,000 kitchen makeover by voting for your favourite kitchen, A or B, they click, they go through to a page here which of course shows them the uh, A and B, they can choose A, they can choose B and then they're in the chance to win that kitchen. We even ask them, you probably can't see it, but down underneath the name, email and phone number, we ask them how old is your kitchen. And the reason for that is, is that if they say 30 years, there's a good chance we're going to contact them quicker than if they put 10 years. Okay, so therefore obviously the person with the oldest kitchen is going to want a new kitchen more so can you type below for me at this time uh your industry so butcher baker candlestick maker because what we're going to do i've got a couple of people here that are actually grabbing industries for me i can give you some samples hopefully in your industry and this will be more you know it'll resonate even more uh, with you because we've looked after pretty much a to z as i said before um now let me just click through i'm not going to show the next one uh let me see i'll just click through here i want to show you uh i want to show you this one okay this one here happens to be uh, a water filtration system uh, company. And what they do is they come out and put that ugly water filtration system underneath your kitchen sink and then you've got pure water. Now this is the ad they used to run which went nowhere, they got no response from it because again they fell into the same trap that the backyard fence person did and that was, oh won't people get turned on by this ugly water filtration system. In other words, they concentrated on the features, not, not the benefits. So how about the copy underneath the ad? Okay, this is a GTI 26-5 reverse osmosis water filter stage 5 under sink alkaline filter system. Oh my goodness, and then it goes on to bore you shitless with the copy underneath that which gives you details about the water filtration system. <sighs> you don't want the water filtration system photo in front of you, you want to actually be convinced that if you actually get this, you're going to have clean water. So when we took over, we zeroed this in to rich suburbs because this is a $3,000 water filtration system, by the way, so it's no good putting it into poor suburbs. And this is the ad that's on your screen right now. And you'll see the long form copy. That's what I'm talking about. We want to pre-qualify people and wait till you hear the results of this, by the way, in just a second. You'll see the copy that we've put together there. I'm surrounded by copywriters who follow my mantra in terms of direct response problem solution. But before I read out some of the copy, have a look at the graphic, okay? That's a pretty compelling graphic. That lady's pretty worried, her family's drinking brown water and you'll see that we put a fact in there you've got a 20 percent text ruling of course with facebook photos uh fact 95 percent of sydney homes tap water contains herbicide uh, lead pesticides mercury arsenic oh my god so the copy on top of that says shocking statistic a macquarie university study has found that sydney families are being exposed to high levels of copper lead contamination in their water did you know that our tap water travels through dirty clogged pipes and maybe that's okay for 90 percent of the time for the water coming into your homes to flush the toilet water the garden and so forth but 10 percent we use in the kitchen for drinking and food prepper should be filtered to remove contaminants before we use it but guess what you can decontaminate your water before you drink it Parents are justifiably concerned given that contaminated tap water is used for morning coffee, meal preparation and wait for a baby formula. Evil, Dr. Evil, I'm afraid when I'm doing the copy for this stuff. Our water filtration company is launching a brand new reverse osmosis miracle tap water system and therefore we're interested in the opinion of householders regarding tap water in the home. Hence this 60 second Facebook survey where you're invited to answer just five easy questions for the chance to win one of these $3,000 systems. Now when people click through because they're frightened that they're poisoning their children. Of course, we've captured their details and they, they get a free home uh, demonstration of just what this thing can do for their water. This is the owner of the business and uh, you can see there he's pretty happy. This was sent, I think, uh, the day afterwards. We launched this new campaign. JD, you're a bloody legend. Uh, just over 24 hours of launching the initial Facebook campaign, we received 19 competition entries to win our water filter system. Outstanding result. How I can't believe how fast your stuff works. And then the bromance went even further. <laughs> I kept on saying to him, just send me beer. Just send me beer. Stop the email. Hi, JD. I'm stoked with the first few days of the campaign. Netted 45 plus leads. Credit to you, JD. This is freaking amazing. This is an insane results in record time. Look forward to hearing back from you. Now, you know, Paul uh, was a lovely guy to send those emails. Um, uh, if Paul's watching right now, could you stop the emails, Paul? Just send beer, okay? Just send beer um, or wine, uh, anything 
alcoholic, all right? Um, but all jokes aside, the fact is, is that he had been wasting money on social media advertising up until then, showing pictures of a water filtration system. And you could be doing the same thing. Stop promoting features, start promoting benefits. And uh, this teaser campaign, which is part of the you know, three formulas of the engagement code, is a very, very powerful one. I have to say to you, though, that keep in mind that if you're going to drive avalanche traffic like this, you have to understand via a contest or via a survey that you know, has a prize uh, lure, then there will be a few people in there that might be cold leads. You have to just live with that, but you'll get a shitload of warm leads too. And the way that the copy is written and the way that everything's put together, if we're involved in it, we are actually trying to pre-qualify them so that they'll be as warm as possible. But you know, if I do say so myself, how insanely clever is it to actually ta ask someone who falls into the category of an older you know, homeowner um, if they've got a bad fence, take a photo of it uh, for the chance to win a new one, and then they glow in the dark? Is that not clever? Okay, give me one second because I, I know you're sitting there going, what a show off. Well, big deal. Okay, I'm patting myself on the back because no one else does it. Nobody else does it. Okay, let me show you long form copy that we do. Uh, this is an ad uh, on your screen right now, which we actually do to bring people to uh, you know, either events, seminars, or, or online broadcasts like this. And you'll see here, I'm going to scroll down. That's the top of the ad. That's the middle of the ad. We keep on scrolling down. We keep on scrolling down. We keep on scrolling down. Okay, and eventually we get to my ugly mug where there's a pretty compelling headline there, 812,000 leads. This marketing guru... Uh, delivered 812,000 leads for a business in just one week. And uh, I'll come back to that in just a second. And I did do that. It was for a new idea magazine promotion and we put out a promotion for them. I won't bore you with the details, but basically we got 812,000 leads for them in one week. Now, being new idea, women's magazine, did they have some money to put behind marketing? My concept, of course they did. And so therefore everything's relative. They got 812,000 leads in seven days. I think in your instance, if you're nowhere near the size of a big woman's magazine, you'd still be happy with 1,000 or 2,000 leads a week wouldn't you okay um, I'm not guaranteeing anything to you I'm just saying that these case studies are real case studies and this is all about avalanche leads and it's been brought about by this formula that we've developed called the engagement code which you can grab hold of to fast track the implementation for your business if you want to join my engagement code program which starts on Tuesday the 26th and that means every week on a Tuesday we'll be having an hour or so together whereby I live on Zoom will be teaching you this whole formula and you can take it away and just implement it into your business. Or you can steal whatever you want here today in this free live cast and just go off and try and do it yourself and that's fine as well, okay? Um, what I thought I would do at this point is uh, just say to you that if you are a bigger business, uh, I'm just looking at my thing here, by the way, so I can bring up the right slide in just a second. If you uh, are a bigger business, you might be interested in uh, our private coaching program. We have a private coaching program and look, don't, be worried. I know you're sitting there going, oh, God, is he going to get the violin out and flog stuff to us? Well, of course, I will make an offer to you because, uh, you know, you're watching this for free, so you can't get your money back. I'll give you money back guarantee. Um, but you'll get lots of content, so hang with me, all right? Hang with me. If you're eating your uh, egg and uh, lettuce sandwich or your Macca's burger or your maybe organic salad, then stick with me because this will just be something that you can walk away with regardless of whether or not you end up hanging around with us. I think you're going to find this hour that you're spending with me at lunch to be pretty valuable. Um, we have a, uh, a private coaching program we call the Masterclass and normally businesses doing $400,000, $500,000 or more um, are, are in the market for this. Uh, it's $3,000 a month, well it's 2997 but $3,000 a month and uh, we basically, I, I become your marketing manager, I become your quasi marketing manager and what we do is that within 10 days of me receiving a, a completed questionnaire from you and having a chat, uh, I give you a full on marketing plan. And I'm going to play a little video now that goes for, I don't know, 90 seconds, two minutes, that shows you the contents of the marketing plan. And the reason I'm doing this is not just to you know, promote the fact that I do private coaching. By the way, the average uh, wage for a PA in Australia, like a secretary, is 54K, okay? You can get me to become your marketing manager for about three a month, multiplied by 12, that's 36K. I think I know which one you're going to get the better ROI on. Uh, but anyway, without me patting myself on the back too much, let me just play this for you. This is what the marketing plans look like when we put this together for businesses. Now, even if you're not in the league for having me as your quasi-marketing manager for a few thousand dollars a month, even if you're not in that league, you're a startup or you're only doing you know, a turnover of 100 or 200,000, have a look at the components in this marketing plan and consider that this is what you need for your business. Because the thing is, whenever I'm holding a seminar uh, or podcast, I say to everyone in the room, 
uh, in the audience, um, who believes that having sales and marketing skills is the most important thing in business? Because if you don't make a sale, you know, you've got no business. Then everyone puts their hand up. And then I say, okay, well, who's got an accountant? Everyone puts their hand up. Who's got a solicitor? Everyone puts their hand up. I said, okay, well, 30 seconds ago, you told me that having sales and marketing skills is the most important thing in business. Who's got anyone advising them on sales and marketing? You can hear a pin drop. There might be one or two out of 100 people put their hand up. And that's the thing. You're driving into a tunnel without headlights. Because if you don't have anyone advising you on proper marketing, online and offline, then you're just making shit up around the dinner table of the night time. I know, I know. I've spoken to millions. That's an overstatement. <laughs> I've spoken to hundreds, dozens. I've spoken to someone, okay, and they say that basically they're making up uh, their marketing as they go. And that's why their sales are like that. What you want is a predictive marketing model that you can press the go button at any time. Now, of course, that predictive marketing model only comes about if you test and fix, if you test and measure. And with this engagement code, which I'm going to give you the opportunity for an insanely low investment with this engagement code formula, where I can teach you over this eight week period, you're going to be streets ahead of where you are now and you're going to be streets ahead of your competitors because this online social media stuff is not being exploited by anyone properly. There's a whole bunch of kids out there pretending to be social media gurus. They have not been around the block enough. They don't have a few wrinkles under their eyes. And so therefore you're putting your destiny in the hands of someone who's still using proactive skincare cream, okay? I'm being sarcastic, but you know what I mean. They have had not a lot of experience in the marketing world, and a lot of them are tech heads. And you know what? If I was a business owner watching this where you are right now, you don't want to know about algorithms and pixels, okay? You don't want that. You want to know creatively how you are going to get your Facebook or Instagram ad to get money for you. You, you want to know creatively what have you got to do to create the most impact that someone's going to click. I can get any monkey to put together the back end with the algorithms and the pixels. And I know that if someone's watching this and they are a monkey, <laughs> they are an operations person, a technical person, a pointy headed, you know, uh, person, they hate me already. They're going, oh, well, hang on. But seriously, there are gazillions of these people out there who look after digital management of people's campaigns and they'll give you a dashboard that you can look at and they'll tell you what you need to do to put pixels on your pages and they'll talk all about the algorithms. That's been done by four gazillion people. I can get any one of those to put that together. For What you can't get is what's inside my head here. Everywhere, okay? You can't get that. I know, because if I could find someone that's got all of this IP inside, them, I'd pay them half a million dollars and bring them on my thing. So what you're getting when you hang around people like us is that you're getting Spielberg. I know it's blowing wind up my own ass, but I don't care, okay? I don't, I've got no feelings. You can type below, JD, your show off. Guess what? Bing, bounces off me. I don't care. I'm like Gordon Ramsay. He doesn't care about criticism. So therefore, I know I'm the best in town at this sort of stuff, and I don't mind showing off about it. And I want to teach you that if you are an expert at something, then take a leaf out of Gordon Ramsay or me or take a leaf out of the MasterChef. Show off about it. Because the fact is that people gravitate to people who are experts. And so therefore, I don't think there's anything wrong. If you are an expert, I don't want you to make it up, okay? You wouldn't want your heart surgeon to do that. But if you are an expert, there's nothing wrong with doing a little bit of that. Because the fact is, is that if you are unique at what you do, and I believe I am, and I believe our system, the engagement code is, then you should show off about it. Because people then will get the benefit of hanging around with you and getting the results that they want. If you're Got a business and you don't have a marketing plan, have a look at this. This is what we put together for our private clients. And even if you don't fall into that category of perhaps, you know, um, and by the way, if you're interested in private coaching, then just send an email to us at info at the institute of .com. When you watch this little two minute video of what's in my marketing plans, and this is just an example, by the way, so obviously it's customized to every client. This is just an example. Uh, if you're interested in private coaching at a few grand a month, then just, uh, yeah, Give me an email at info at the institute of .com. There is no AU, info at the institute of .com. Let me play this tape. This is what you need for your business, a marketing plan. So here's the format of my WOW marketing action plans. You'll see this one happens to be for a, uh, a visual, audio visual events company. Uh, broken up into three sections, my marketing plans. There's the overview, then there is the website. So I go through what the website design should look like. And then there's the overall marketing suggestions, okay, which is a smorgasbord of ideas. Let me just take you uh, through a typical one. Happens to be an overview for this particular, you know, events AV company. Uh, I go through all the sorts of details that I've gained from their questionnaire, uh, their major competitors, uh, what they're doing to upsell to current clients, um, who their major competitors are. You'll see it's all listed here. I go through and I ask them in the questionnaire, are they positioning themselves as the expert? And if they're not, then of course I'll know further down into the report how I can help them position themselves in that area. Uh, in this instance here, we then get through to the website. I give an overview of what I think their website 
um, is looking like at the moment, uh, whether I give them a, a couple of ticks of approval or whether I give them a hard time, normally it's a hard time, <laughs> okay? Then I give them the recommenda recommendations for the website and I go through what I think they should be having in the homepage and they should have a benefit-driven headline. In their instance, Australia's number one audiovisual experts for events and functions, sit back, relax, and let's, let us look after all the technical, theatrical issues for you. In other words, we take it over for you, we're one-stop shop. Then I explain to them what they might need in an explanatory video. I then go through what the video should look like and contacts of companies where they can get the video done. Uh, I talk to them about a free report and why they need that in there. I talk about the Macca's menu board and so on and so forth. I, uh, I basically go through what they should have. Then I go through their sub pages and I tell them what they should have on their services page, uh, their showcase page, the White Shoes Us page and so forth. Then I give them a basically my contact details of website companies if they wanted to get the website done from people in our supplier list i talked to them about the free report not to get too frightened with it just how you can simply put together a two or three page free report and then i give them a layout of what their home page should look like so therefore here you'll see it's i've given them a layout i give them what they should have above the uh, the menu bar what their positioning statement should be what they should have in their, their welcome video and so on and so forth so the full layout of their website there and then i go through the marketing plan and show them again what they should do I just reiterate because it's obviously a big part of their marketing what they should do with their website go through Facebook advertising show them what a Facebook ad should look like uh, give them the copy that they should be using uh, remarketing telling them how I use remarketing and why they should use it for their business search engine optimization Google AdWords we do a uh, Google AdWords I'm oh, sorry we do a Google keyword search uh, for the business to see what sort of phrases are being searched uh, in whatever cities they're in uh, and then email marketing I show them exactly what they should be doing with email marketing if they happen to have a list we talk about video books and how they might like to use that this particular company is a b2b so therefore using video books like this could be a real bonus to get through the gatekeeper it's always difficult to get through the gatekeeper and this is a great way of doing it uh, we talk about sms marketing and i give them an example in this instance it's an av company if you have an event or function coming up and you want the best audio visual equipment supplier in australia talk to us now special april offer where you get a free xyz Click here for me more details then I show them how that SMS marketing sends people through to a landing web page and then of course you can do the sell. I show them direct mail campaigns uh, in this instance this particular company has a number of different uh, prospects and so therefore I put together some brochures uh, layouts and show them exactly how they should actually put together a four page brochure you'll see here's a four page brochure uh, then we go through events and ironically this particular company is a, an event management company of sorts because they're an AV company and audio visual so I show them how they should be holding events in inviting their prospects to dinner and uh, selling to them. In other words, do what I do. And I show them some examples of other companies that have done that. Uh, I show them how the invitation might look. So we give a bit of a rough uh, idea, well, more than a rough idea, a pretty clear idea of what the invitation should look like, and then the conclusion. And then at the end of it, they get all of my suppliers. Okay, dokie, so, so, uh, so the therefore uh, you'll see that's with, a pretty comprehensive marketing plan. And when I show that at any seminars that we're at, and I say to all the business owners in the audience, has anyone in the room got a marketing plan that looks like that even the three or four that may put their hand up out of the hundred in the room and everyone's jaws just hit the floor and go no no we've got a marketing plan that was put together by some 23 year old who just came out of uni and it consists of three pages in fact I, i've got to tell you this i've got six millennial children by the way so therefore if i give the odd serve to millennials so i'm including my own children in that by the way um i think that three of my six children are not even mine to be honest with you uh, my wife was born in Sydney I was born in Sydney and three of our children are Asian so I think there's something going on there anyway so getting back to uh, to this though the point is is that uh, I was going to use the dad joke then ago I say to my wife what went wrong okay I know you're doing this at the moment but I'm sorry this is free you're not getting charged for this so you're going to have to put up with the odd dad joke all right uh, so therefore yeah look the thing is is that um, what I ask everyone is, you know, well, sorry, one particular company, he showed me the marketing plan, he gives it to me, and it was three pages, it was like a three-page document, and it was just rubbish, it had the usual um, mission statement, like, please, uh, and the mission statement normally is our company wants to give back, we want to show the love to the world, we want to give back to the world, no, you don't, you want to make money so that you can live a nice life, uh, and you all 
give your shareholders a nice life, okay? And then when you've got all of that, sure, go and help people, but don't go telling me right now that your mission statement for your business is to give back. I mean, there's, you know, unless you're St. Vincent de Paul. Uh, so anyway, the thing is, is that you need a marketing plan and you need each of the components that are in that marketing plan. Did you notice that we went through particularly online, all the various, you know, components and then offline? If you don't have that, then you are driving your business without headlights. So if that is of interest to you, uh, type in either below private and then what we'll do is uh, private messenger you. But uh, because it's probably easier just to get your email address, just send a note to me, uh, okay, at info at the Institute of wow.com. JD, can you book a call with me to talk more about private coaching? Okay, and that's what will happen. Now, what I want to do is show you the components of the engagement code. So I'm bringing that up on the screen right now. And uh, I want to show you what's going to happen through our eight-week training course. Uh, it starts on Tuesday, the 26th of February and it will be at 10 a.m. Uh, Queensland time, 11 a.m. New South Wales Victorian time and wherever else you are you can work that out. Live with me, a training session that will go between 60 and 90 minutes each week and I'm going to teach you much more comprehensively than what I can do in this particular broadcast, the engagement code, particularly how you can use this on social media and particularly, I'm using particularly, I think it's like a particularly bingo, isn't it? Particularly <laughs> I'll stop using particularly, I promise, all right? Okay, so week one is all about showing you who, why, and where. And uh, by that, I mean identifying your most profitable customer and looking for more people who look like them. So that's the thing. I want you to be able to identify your most profitable customer and then go out looking for more people like them. That's what marketing is all about. And we'll be showing you during that first phase laser targeting opportunities with custom and lookalike audiences. And if you're not familiar with what custom audiences and lookalike audiences are on Facebook, then we'll be going through that then. Because the fact is, is that if you can give Facebook uh, a few hundred of your email addresses of your better customers, they can then go out and find lookalike audiences, in other words, people who look like them. And that's how laser targeted this social media stuff is. And if you're not using those particular facilities at the moment, then you are crazy. You are smoking something weird, all right, because you've got to get onto this. But just be careful you don't throw your money at some kid straight out of uni that tells you that you've got to get your name out there. Oh, social media, JD, it's all about getting your name out there. No, it's not. It's all about getting their name in here. And the techniques that I was showing you a moment ago with the teaser ads, for example, is all about getting Avalanche warm leads in here so that you can then remarket to them. You see, if you think that social media advertising is a sales vehicle, then you're nuts. You're crazy. You're insane. You notice how I go out of my way to insult prospects? <laughs> there was a guy who came on board last week and he said to me, JD, um, I've just come on board your $3,000 a month private coaching program and... Um, You've insulted me within like twice or so within the first week. How long does it normally take you to insult clients? I oh, normally no, five minutes, ten minutes. It's all in jest. I'm not serious, okay, but just having a bit of fun. We believe that the environment that we've got at the Institute of Wow.com uh, is one that's entertaining, not just training. Okay, uh, I didn't come up with that word, by the way. I stole it for, from KPMG, so I'm just giving a disclosure. But uh, enter training. Okay, we try and make sure that when you're around our environment, you have fun at the same time as make a shitload more money. Okay, so the thing is, is that what you want to do is determine who, uh, what, and why. So who's your target audience, what they want, and why they want it, and then you can provide them with the solutions to that. So it's all about identifying your most profitable audience and then looking for more people like them. Uh, week number two, okay, so February 26th, Tuesday, February 26th is the first uh, lesson uh, in this JD class, the engagement code. Week number two, the following Tuesday, we're going to talk about how to position yourself as the expert. And uh, give me a second, I'll come back to week three in a moment. Positioning yourself as the expert. You would not be watching this now uh, if I had not positioned myself as the best marketing guy in the country, okay? You would not be watching this. If I'd said to you on an email or I'd been promoting myself as the 25th best marketing guy in Australia or the world, then you'd go looking for the other 24. I'm damn sure you would, okay? So therefore, and I believe that. I have met a gazillion marketing people throughout my thousand year career and I haven't come across anyone that has the bucket of skills that I've got. Uh, we're talking copywriting, we're talking layout and design, we're talking putting a whole marketing plan together, we're talking online, we're talking offline, we're talking promotional activities, uh, we're talking copywriting, we're talking headline, so on and so forth. Okay, I can go on and on and on and on. I haven't found one singular person that has that whole breadth of skills. And if I did, I'd pay them half a million dollars and employ them so that I wouldn't have to work so hard. But that being the case, I'm sure Gordon Ramsay probably says the same thing, okay? And there's nothing wrong with identifying yourself as the expert and showing off about it if you are good at what you do. 
I can invite any other marketing person that I've met from around the world, it doesn't matter whether it was John Singleton or anyone else, to come up on stage with me and we can have two butcher paper whiteboards. And then I'll take questions from the audience and I bet you I'm going to be drawing up web pages and brochures and all sorts of things and ideas on my butcher paper quicker than he will be or she will be. And I'm willing to back myself. And so therefore, if you have a mindset where you are good at what you are doing or your business is good at what it's doing, for example, Apple, uh, then there's nothing wrong with positioning yourself as the expert. In fact, that's what you should be doing. People gravitate to experts and they pay more to experts. You know that when you go to your local GP, doctor, you're paying the regular rate. If he actually then sends you off to a specialist who is the expert above him, you pay more money. That's the way it is, okay? So therefore, if you are not promoting yourself as an expert, but you're very good at what you are doing, you're going to love week two because uh, if I bring it back to the screen here, week two of our engagement code class is all about positioning yourself as expert. Week three is creating a wow factor and stopping them from scrolling. You do not want people to scroll. What you want to do is make sure that when they are seeing you on your Facebook page that they stop. Okay, I'll bring the camera back to me for a second so I can really put some oomph into this. You want them to stop. So when they're scrolling, 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 Hang on, hang on. And it was scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. <laughs> it's lunchtime and I need alcohol. Isn't that bad? Isn't that awful at this time of the day? Okay. I have got water in this. It's only water, okay? I guarantee. Yes, yes, that's what's called 4X water, okay? Uh, so the thing is, is that you want them to stop scrolling. And so therefore, you've got to have impact. You've got to have a wow factor. And uh, I think I probably showed you on uh, the ads that I displayed here just as examples of how we actually stop them in their tracks. Because the point is, is that if you are, you know, sort of living in today's world, you know that people are subjected to somewhere between two and 3,000 advertising messages a day. And if you want them to stop to look at your message, then you want to make sure that you've uh, got a wow factor, okay? Week number four. Keep in mind it's an eight-week course. So week number four is how to use, uh, how to create videos that suit platforms like Facebook and Instagram and YouTube and LinkedIn, okay? So if you think, oh, look, I know how to produce a video with, you know, doing shaky cam out in the backyard, no, we'll be showing you in week number four how to create videos that actually um, uh, suit the platform so that the video looks native. You need your video and your communications to look native. You don't want them to look like an ad. Week number five, uh, how to insert emotional seeds in your messaging. Now, this is a really important one. This comes down to the problem-solution scenario, uh, and that is, is that you need to understand how to get people's attention by highlighting their problem and how you can quickly provide them with a solution. So that's week five. Week six is a deep dive into the engagement code component. So therefore, you've heard me say before, uh, three components, that's a long form copy ads, which I've shown you one or two examples, uh, one of them being mine. Uh, number two, tease ads, which is uh, basically luring them to a landing page via contests or via a free report, etc. And number three, free organic traffic through Facebook Live or you know uh, Instagram, okay? so the Thing is I'll bring the camera back to me once again I've paid nothing for the traffic to be on this side I'll just ask one of my team it's in front of how many people you have on board at the moment live okay so we've got 70 or 80 whatever it is on board live at the moment and what will happen is that when this is finished it will actually then be watched by hundreds of people most of the time uh, we did one of these uh, two weeks ago and uh, we had uh, what do we have we had I think 139 at the time and uh, it went to nearly 2,000 okay within about three days so there's every chance this one will do the same thing. So it's not about the, uh, the, the size of the audience necessarily watching live. It's what happens after that. You've got to get onto this Facebook Live thing. You really have to. And I'm sorry for repeating myself, but when we ran one of these Tonight Show style ones two weeks ago at 6 p.m. at night, um, it ran for about an hour and a quarter. And uh, unlike this one, this will go for five hours. <laughs> No, it won't. It's finishing soon. I, trust me, it's finishing soon, right? Uh, but the fact is, is that uh, two days later, okay, we just made an offer. We said, look, you know, you can actually join this particular program. And if you're interested in private coaching, then just book a wowcall.com. Just go to book a wowcall.com and you can talk to me or someone over the next few days. Within 48 hours, we had picked up uh, $77,000 in sales for no expenditure. Facebook Live is free. I oh, think I do that every day of the week. The only thing that we did is 500 text messages to tell people we're live, okay, about a minute or two into the show, which, uh, 5,000 text messages, sorry, so that was 10 cents a time, so that's $500. So for $500 out, 77 grand in, and I think we've actually picked up another private coaching client this morning, which takes it over six figures. Pretty good return on investment of 500 bucks. I think you'd do that, and I would do that every day of the week. This is free, but if you're going to hold a Facebook Live, watch what we've done here. 
Number one, you have to have good content. No question about that. If you would not still be on this Facebook Live broadcast if I'd just given you a sales pitch, okay? If I just all crapped or rabbited on about my family or my marriage crisis because, I've got to tell you, it's not looking too good at the moment. It's not looking too good at the moment. Marriage a bit shaky, okay? Uh, the reason is, I said to my wife uh, this morning, I mean, we've been married a thousand years, and I said to her, Gail, do you realise that sex would be so much more enjoyable if only I had a partner? Boom, boom. Tsh. Okay, so enough of the dad, dad jokes, but what you've got to do in terms of uh, doing a Facebook Live, great content, goes without saying. Number two, build rapport. I tend to try and do that. I'm probably a try hard by having a few gags in between and uh, making sure that I understand the sort of needs and wants that you have. And I think I've done that here because I've said to you, if you don't know this social media stuff, then you better, yeah, you better fast track your knowledge of it because it is the future. Notice that Channel 10 went broke here in Australia and that Channel 7 are close to going broke apparently last year and Channel 9, you know, just bought Fairfax so that they wouldn't go broke. The fact of the matter is, is that uh, the world is changing. So all those old ways of marketing your business on radio and TV and bro, that's fast disappearing. And if you don't get it right with this social media thing, then you're in real trouble in the next year or two. It's coming really, really fast. So if you're doing Facebook Live, good content, uh, build a rapport, in other words, engagement, and then thirdly, uh, make some offers throughout, okay? Because at the end of the day, your Facebook Live should be all about making money. Okay, so let me just uh, come back to that slide again. Can I just tell you the engagement code, three components are long form copy ads. Uh, the other option you have is teasing ads. And the other option is what you're seeing right now, free organic traffic through Facebook Live. Live. Number seven, week seven out of the eight weeks is uh, all about test and measure time. So therefore, remarketing is the name of the game. And what we do, just so you know, this is a little tip for you. What we do is that uh, we actually uh, take note in an analysis point of view of uh, what percentage uh, people watch. I'll bring the camera back to me. Okay. Uh, what percentage of people watch my Facebook lives? Now, I'm pumping out about three or four a day. Not in a studio sort of setting like this so much. It would be me in the car or me in the shopping centre bagging out someone for some bad service and telling you they should be running their business like Disney or I'll see a bad website. But I'm on three or four times a day and we're getting really good engagement. So therefore you'll notice that I'm asking you at the moment right now, could you press like and if you could do me a favour because I suffer from <sighs> lack of self-esteem as you can see. I'm a shy little devil. Could you just press like for me if you don't mind? Um, yeah, and any questions, by the way, we're going to go to q and in a second. So if you've got any questions about your particular business, then just type in a question below and I'll be happy to give it a shot if we've got some time. Um, but the fact of the matter is, is that we will identify those who have watched 20% or 25% of whatever Facebook Live I've done, and then we will remarket to them. Okay, so therefore, this is so laser targeted, it's not funny. Then what we'll do is look at the videos that we're pumping out each day, Facebook Lives, and see which ones are getting the most engagement. And so, for example, I stood in front of McDonald's on the weekend, Saturday, and I rabbited on about if I was running McDonald's tomorrow, I would sack their marketing manager. And the reason I'd sack their marketing manager is because they've got 1.7 million people coming through McDonald's today and they have no clue who they are. They don't hand out any name and address sort of entries with that little receipt that you get when you book a hamburger to win a trip to Disneyland or something. They don't do that. Nobody collects data. Go to Bunnings, go to Woolworths, go to Coles, go to the Grand Final, the Rugby League or the AFL. They will not collect data and they wonder why Amazon are coming to get them. So therefore, one of the big tips you should walk away with here today, but you'll get it loud and clear in week seven of my program, and that is you've got to collect data and we'll show you tricky ways how to do it. We have a restaurant in Melbourne that's part of our coaching program, or he was, he's not now, but he was part of our coaching program. I stopped all of his mainstream advertising because he was pissing money up against the wall like half a million dollars a year. And we just simply incentivized the waitresses 50 cents for every name and contact detail they got. So they handed out a little entry form at the end of each meal to the four or five people around the table. And it said, how would you like to win a dinner for 10 of your friends at the end of the month? Fill in your name, your email and your Phone number, phone number being the most important. Guess what? At mid-afternoon, he says to his secretary every day, the owner of the restaurant, how many seats of our 180 are booked? She says 90. He said, well, you better send out one of JD's bloody text messages. And out goes my text message number four, which says, Chef Pierre would like to invite you for dinner tonight, um, dinner for two for $68, lobster tail dinner for two for $68. No one leaves that restaurant less than $200, okay, because of the upsells. A bottle of water, I think, is like $30. Guess what? He's the only restaurant in the world that's booked out 364 nights a year. Why? Because he's collected data and every afternoon he sends a special text offer out to a percentage of his database and then she walks back into his office 10 minutes later and says, guess what, his name's Bill, Bill Ferg. And she said, Bill, booked out. 180 seats, bang, in 10 minutes. 
He hasn't wasted money advertising on the side of a bus or sponsoring the Essendon football team. He's just collected data and exploited it. So in this particular week seven, I'll bring it back on the screen, it's all about remarketing. It's about making sure that you identify who's been engaging with you, whether it's Facebook Live or advertising or what have you, and then remarketing to them. Because if you have an ad with long-form copy and people are reading that for some time, Facebook's algorithm kicks in and goes, wow, you're a superstar. We're going to put that ad out in front of more people. And in this instance, the reason that I'm encouraging you to actually, you know, engage with me and put emojis below and JD, I love the content or put a like is because Facebook's algorithm will then recognise that I'm getting lots of engagement and they'll go, wow, this guy's Bert Newton or this guy's like Johnny Carson. He's got a high engagement level. We want to stop people from watching TV. Facebook wants to stop people from buying a newspaper or listening to a radio station. We've got someone here with engagement. We'll just pump out his stuff to more people and that'll keep more people engaged on our platform and no different with LinkedIn or Instagram. So what you've got to do is produce engaging ads and engaging Facebook Lives because Facebook will reward you. If you're Johnny Carson or Bert Newton, they will reward you by actually sending out for free your Facebook Lives to more people. And that's what we're finding that's happening with us, by the way. Okay, the final week is uh, where I become, uh, what's his name? Simon Cowell from uh, American Idol. Uh, we're calling it Social Media Idol, and it's a live critique of your ad. So therefore, on the eighth week, the eighth Tuesday, what I'll be doing uh, beforehand is inviting you to send in what you've been putting together for Facebook ads, for example, or Facebook Lives or videos, Instagram, whatever it may be. And then what I'll be doing on that final week of our eight-week course is providing you with a score or one out of ten. Okay. What I normally do is put a nine up there on the butcher paper if I'm doing a seminar. Uh, if someone's shown me the website and I put it up on the big screen, I go, oh, let me give you a score out of ten. I put a nine. Everyone can see it's a shithouse website and they know how sarcastic I am. So then when the owner of that business goes, oh my God, nine out of ten. No, no. And then I put a one point in front of it. That's what they deserve out of 10 or zero point, all right? Okie dokie. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. If you have, can you just type below and show some love and go, JD, good stuff. JD, legend, JD, I love you, or something like that, something that's really fake but sounds um, sort of serious. I'll just ask my team, is there any questions there, guys, that I can answer at the moment? Um, I'm just asking my team. Oh, someone asked about the launch of my book. I'll talk about that in a moment. But uh, what I thought I would do in the meantime is uh, just uh, – no, no good, give me, just yell it out to me. Yeah. Uh, so, therefore, uh, what I'll do before we actually do that, uh, um, let me tell you, do you want to be part of my class? Would you like to be part of this engagement code class? And all the stuff that I've just shown you, which is probably a little overwhelming because it's just gone <laughs> straight into you, we're going to break up into an eight-week class for you. So let me just tell you, I don't care whether you want me to tell you or not, I will tell you, okay? So therefore, the engagement uh, code class I'm bringing up here uh, is an eight-week course and it's $1,497 per month and it's two months, okay? So therefore, the eight-week course, of course, of the eight-week with the eight-week course of course is two months so therefore it's $1,497 per month so you just make a payment uh, now up front and then in a month's time you will make another payment so therefore it's uh, $1,497 per month multiplied by two months uh, $2,994 ask yourself if you think that reasonably modest investment, I believe, is going to be hugely valuable for your business because if you're wasting hundreds, if not thousands of dollars on Facebook advertising at the moment, uh, then you, know, you might see this as being an incredibly, incredibly attractive uh, offer. Or if you want to save some money, or you can make an upfront payment uh, of 19.94. Okay, so therefore, if the two 14.97 payments, one now and one in a month's time, uh, add up to the 2,994 dollars, if you wanted to make an upfront payment now, we'll take a thousand dollars off of that. Uh, but I'll bring the camera back to me because we have a special super duper ripper uh, uh, bonus for you. Uh, and you wouldn't expect me to be in the direct response game if I didn't give you this incredible bonus. Um, I haven't got any drumsticks here but I'll, I'll do the noise effect that is a corny drum roll and uh, what we're going to do is provide you if you want to join um, now okay we're going to take this offer down uh, I don't know whether it'll be tomorrow or the next day but we, we're not going to keep it up forever if you want to join now and you do the upfront payment this is not available to you if you're going to do the two monthly payments but if you do the up month payment of 1994 and we'll tell you the web page to go to in a moment you save $1,000 Okay, I'll bring that slide back up again. So therefore, if you make the upfront payment of 1994, you'll save yourself $1,000, but we'll also give you a complimentary membership of our WOW Manifesto program, which is valued at about $600, right? And you're saying to me, well, what is that? 
This is what it is. It's called the Wow Manifesto Client Attraction Program. And what I'll do is that I'm going to bring the camera back to me and show you what that is. When I put together a program, I normally put together one that's going to look a little bit different from most others. And so this is a swipe file of all of my best ideas over the last uh, decade or so, uh, online and offline. There's a complete chapter in here that's uh, related to online, which of course is very important for all of us at the moment. Can you imagine the value of having access to all of the stuff that's in here? You can see this is a gigantic manifesto of case study after case study after case study. And it goes through a whole bunch of subjects that you need if you're going to be putting a marketing plan together for your business. And I thought what I'd do is just show you how it works. Uh, basically, uh, this is it here. Okay, so therefore there are 10 components to this program. Uh, you get access to either watch the, uh, sorry, 12 components. You get access to either watch the 12 videos. So therefore you'll see there, there are 12 training videos that go through the various modules and uh, also text. Uh, that goes through each one of the 12 modules. And let me just explain to you what's in it. Uh, the who, why, and where, determine your most profitable client, look for more people like them, which is a, a much broader uh, explanation of how you do that than is in my eight-week training course. Be the expert, uh, how to create a wow, how to use uh, emotional direct response marketing, how to be different online, how to do events. A lot of people just don't realize that sell once to many is red hot with events, whether that's an evening cocktail party or whether you do a breakfast or what have you. Uh, how to use testimonials how to get free publicity, and you can do that much easier these days with the online world, but you need to have a template that you can swipe. Next one is uh, how to deliver extraordinary Disney-style customer service. I have a very strong friendship with a guy that ran Disney resorts in Florida for 10 years, and he's helped me put together the particular module in this training program of how to deliver Disney-style customer service. Once you do that, stand back. <laughs> you just watch what happens. How to build repetitive trade. The only way you can do that is collect data, of course, and then actually build them into a reward system where they're getting points and they come back and back and back. The very basic version of that would be what you see at your coffee shop with a little coffee card. You get nine coffees, get the tenth one for free, but I've got much more sophisticated versions than that. Uh, then uh, social media, uh, lead generation machine, you'll be blown away with that particular chapter uh, or module. It just shows you templates that you can swipe and use for your own business online. And then the twelfth component of all of this is how to put together a marketing plan. So therefore, we think that if you walk away with this for free, that particular program, by the way, the Wow Manifesto program, where you get everything here via 12 videos and via 12 chapters, that normally is 197 a month, so that's why it's 591, okay? So three multiplied by 197. So you get that for free. If you make the upfront payment, I'm going to give this for you, the digital copy of this for free, okay? So, uh, and know you're sending this out in the mail, it'll probably cost $1,000 to send in the mail, it's pretty heavy, all right? You don't see many books that size, do you? All right. Uh, so therefore, let me just finish up before I take a couple of questions. Uh, on your screen right now, you've got the all got the option, okay, two monthly payments of fourteen ninety seven, or the upfront month payment of one nine nine four, okay, and that means you save a thousand dollars. So two monthly payments of fourteen ninety seven means it comes in two nine nine four. But if you want to pay upfront, you save a thousand dollars at one nine nine four. And how do you get this? I know you're sitting there right now. If someone could type this in for me, uh, maybe one of my crew could even do it. Just go to uh, wowengagementcode.com. No AU, just go to www, of course, wowengagementcode.com and you can get this offer. Uh, but it is only available, the upfront payment one is only going to be available for a short time. Uh, and I know that you might say, oh, that's direct response. No, it isn't. Uh, I'm, uh, we'll be taking that down pretty soon. So therefore, if you want to get the $1,000 off, uh, if you're in another country like America, then of course, it's not a 1000 Dollars for you, it's 700 and something. Uh, sorry, no, if for you, it's more money. Uh, more money off, sorry, you, you save more money. Forget what I said then. Can I just rewind that? <laughs> if you're in America, okay, your dollar is worth more in Australia. So therefore, all you need to do is when you go to the order form, you'll find that uh, you know, you'll be paying less than what we're asking for in Australian dollars. That's the easiest way to say it, isn't it? Okie dokie. So therefore, I'm just going to ask my crew, is there any questions before we leave uh, that I can answer? I just want to show off uh, if there was a question or two. Um, and my crew work at about 20 miles an hour, so there's every chance in the world that maybe I'll get these questions tomorrow. Okay, he says sarcastically. Uh, Liesl says, we are a commercial AV. How do we get to our target audience? We, we are a commercial AV. I don't know what that means. Audio visual. Okay, well, I thought it was audio visual. I thought it could have been a disease as well. Um, okay, so therefore, how do you get to your target audience? Well, again, Liesl, unfortunately, I don't have enough information here to, to answer that. I know I showed off before that I knew everything, but without a better brief, it's hard to answer that. I'm guessing commercial AV means that you look after events and you look after you know, seminars and maybe clubs and hotels and shows like that. 
Sorry? Screens and clubs and all that sort of stuff, yeah. Um, what I would be doing is, uh, is events. I would certainly be doing events or I would be doing this, okay? I can't tell you until tomorrow or the next day uh, how much money we will make out of doing this. And keep in mind the recorded version of this, that, how many ever are watching at the moment, the recorded version of this will probably be 10 or 20 times that. And so therefore I probably won't be able to tell you for a couple of days how many people join my engagement code uh, class. Uh, and if you are sitting on the fence, then you're crazy. You're not going to be able to learn this stuff from anyone with this sort of wizardry for that sort of price. $1,497 payment today, and then one more payment of $1,497. You've got an eight-week course personally with me. I think it's pretty good value. I won't show up by telling uh, you how much I normally charge uh, for consultancies because that sounds a bit wanky, but it's certainly a hell of a lot more than that. So you're going to get personal access to me. Uh, every Tuesday for eight weeks to actually teach you how to implement this code in your business. I think that sort of investment is a very, very modest one. And of course, if you pay up front, then you save $1,000. Um, but Lisa, with regards to yeah, uh, how you get to your target audience, aside from direct mail, I don't know that I've got one around me here. We normally have a video book uh, here. I could show you how that works, but they get those sorts of things out of uh, China. Uh, one of my people have got it. Exhibit A, that's fantastic. How good is that? This is a video book. And uh, when you uh, become part of our program, by the way, um, you get access to all of this sort of stuff of where you can get this done because you can look on Google for video books till the cows come home and you'll see 4,000 Chinese companies that do it. But we went through 3,999 of them, I'm telling a joke, but until we found the right one. And this is what a video book is. If you send this out, you're going to get past the gatekeeper of that club or that hotel because what happens is as you open it up, a video plays. I'll Hi, John is my name and uh, I'm the owner of the Institute of WOW, uh, which is this business just behind me on the screen and uh, we're a marketing advisory business. Okay so therefore that's what's called a video card or video book and that one there is what we send out to businesses, bigger businesses, that we know that if they join up with us, they're going to be a private client. So we pay around about $20 each for those if we get 100 or more out of China. And uh, we get uh, around about a one in nine hit rate, okay, in terms of bringing home the revenue, someone joining our program. So that means is that we pay nine times $20. So what's that? Just under 200 bucks. And we pick up a private client at $3,000 a month. I think 36 k in return for a couple hundred dollars is we're going to do that every day of the week. So you might consider doing that because you've got to get through the Nazi gatekeeper with a hotel or, you know, club or something like that. But the other thing that you should do is think about holding events or doing this. So therefore, you would send out uh, email, letters, direct mail like this, inviting the decision maker to watch you live on Facebook Live just like this. Okay, hopefully you won't screw up the time like we did, but uh, basically what you would do is invite them to watch you at five o'clock or six o'clock or seven o'clock or whatever it is on a particular day. Um, and you go Facebook Live and then that Facebook Live is there for them to watch at any time on an evergreen demand basis thereafter. Or you might want to do it via a webinar. I happen to like Facebook Lives a lot better than webinars, quite frankly, because uh, if you're going to do a webinar, produce one and then make that evergreen. In other words, when you invite someone to click the link and go through to watch your webinar, make sure they know that they can watch it, bang, straight away. Gone are the days whereby they book for a webinar in three days' time or a week's time, and then they get 3,000 emails to remind them. Forget that. When people are hot, they're hot. The old webinar system is like someone walking into Woolworths and saying, look, I'd like to buy my groceries today. And they go, no, 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 come back on Thursday. <laughs> Why would you do that? If they're hot to pick up your information right now, let them watch the webinar right now. Again, if you become part of our program, I can go through that more with you. Uh, there's another one here from Terence. Uh, Terence says he's in the website business. How do I uh, market to businesses who aren't online? Uh, Terence, you don't want to. You do not want to, okay? The thing is, is that uh, it's easier to sell drugs to a drug addict than it is to sell drugs to someone who's never tasted drugs. So most of the businesses who are not online um, suffer from dickheaditis, okay? Uh, they've got the disease because here we are in this day and age, 2009, and if they're not online now, then basically they should quit and go and get a job. <laughs> Seriously, okay? So therefore, I don't know what they've been smoking in the last 10 years, but there's a thing called the online world that's coming along to get them if they don't wake up to themselves. Um, I, I just decide not to, to be honest with you. We have a, uh, a, 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 we're launching in about a week or two's time um, an opportunity for people to get websites for $97 a month. In other words, we will do a Netflix uh, uh, relationship with them on a subscription program. I know you're not going to want to hear this because obviously you're wanting to get two or three or five thousand dollars for a website. But what we're doing is going to shake up the industry a little bit like Uber, 
and this is why anyone who hangs around with us, you're going to hear all of this great stuff that we've got coming out. One of them is a business that's going to be called Websites That Pop, and uh, it'll be showing people how they can get a direct response website uh, designed to the sort of, I don't have any things in front of me at the moment, my crew normally do. Give me a second, give me a second, I'll have here, if I can just, this is by the way, so you have an idea, this is just an example of all of the marketing plans you'll see here as I open up this front page. This is a sample of uh, numbers of marketing plans that I put together for people. We just put them all in a book. And all of these things in here, as I'm flipping my pages, uh, marketing plan after marketing plan after marketing plan after marketing plan after marketing plan. And I do that because if I'm holding a, an event and someone says, oh, can I have a look at what your marketing plans look like? And they missed the video that I showed you during this presentation, I just give them one of these. Um, this here. Okay, so therefore... Uh, my view is if you're going to have a website that uh, sells, you need a number of components. And I can't get close enough to the camera for this, but essentially the components that I've got here are, number one, uh, you need your problem solution headline. The next panel should be your big benefits. The next panel should be the three big reasons why people should use you instead of someone else. The next panel, which is a Macca's menu board, and if I turn that around, you can probably just see that there. That's basically all of your products or services in a menu sort of format so that people can go bang, I want menu number two, I want item number three, whatever it might be. Uh, number four, free report to actually capture data. Number five, testimonials, preferably video. And then number six, a call to action. So what happens is that when I'm putting designs together for web pages, then I'll put designs together that will look like that. These designs are whacked together in around about 15, 20 minutes because we do gazillions of them. We're doing websites after websites after websites like you wouldn't believe. And all of these layouts that I put together for businesses when I'm putting together their marketing plans uh, are direct response. It's all about the home page being the most important page. And as a web design company, hopefully you don't fall into the I don't know, bearded hipster category whereby you're putting together pretty websites for people but they don't convert. What we do is we put together a direct response designed website and what we're going to do is shake up the business. We're going to shake up the market because I'm sick of seeing people getting charged four, five, six, ten thousand dollars for websites that might look pretty but they're not selling anything because they don't have the direct response components on the all important page which is the home page. If I asked you what was the most important page of a magazine, you'd say, of course, the front cover. Well, the most important page on your website, of course, is your home page. And I'm not saying this to you, Terence. You know this. I understand that. But, yeah, we've got a, uh, we're launching in a couple of weeks' time websites that pop, and we're going to give people the opportunity to actually uh, subscribe, $97, I think it is, a month, um, to, a, uh, to a system whereby the website will be done for them, bang, and they just pay $97 a month. Obviously, it's a Netflix subscription style system, and that's where I make my money. But every 18 months, they can get a brand new website for free. So therefore, if you multiply 18 months by $97 a month, that's pretty good value. And then you can walk away at the 18-month mark with a brand new website for free. Pretty good deal, okay? And how can we do that? Because we're getting the websites produced offshore. Of course we are. But they're produced, and we've been spending a good year and a half on this, by the way, before we launch it. They're being produced, guess what? To my layouts, okay? That's the big, big difference. There's websites and there's websites. Uh, okay, I don't think we have any other questions. Anybody else uh, with a question? Uh, if I could ask you then to do me a favour, or do yourself a favour, go to um, wow, uh, engagementcode.com, wowengagementcode.com, join up to the eight-week training program. Uh, when you join up to it, you're going to get free membership of this, okay, which is yours basically for life. You just walk away with it. And incidentally, you can either watch the 12 videos that go over the 12 components of this weekly if you want, or binge watch. You can just binge watch them, okay? And by the way, if you actually do pay up front the $19.94, not only do you get access to this and you can binge watch or binge read the components of this straight away, uh, so you get it straight away. So therefore, you'll get a login, a password to the WOW Manifesto program straight away so that you'll be ready in two weeks' time on Tuesday the 26th of February to really hit the ground running. Can you imagine if you digest all the stuff in here over the next two weeks and leading up to our uh, 26th of February first class, if you've got all of the stuff in here and you've digested that well yeah you're going to be well you might get top of the class you might get a special happy stamp okay guys that's it guys that's about it guys and gals uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this hopefully it's been a good uh, investment of your lunch and your time uh, hopefully you'll join us i've used the word hopefully quite a bit haven't i we should run hopefully bingo as well um i'm yeah, I'm serious. I'm hoping that you do join the Engagement Code uh, class. Uh, it's yeah, an eight-week program that could take your business to another level. And if you think about what the investment is, if you pay up front $1,994 for the value that you're going to get out of this by spending, well, eight times 
one hour to one and a half hours with me on consecutive weeks where you can ask questions. It's via a Zoom call, by the way. So we're setting up a Zoom call whereby I'll be the tutorial uh, teacher uh, running through the engagement code and you'll be able to ask questions. So therefore you're getting personal access to me eight weeks in a row. I think that's pretty valuable if I do say so myself. So go there now. Uh, I should do that very much more in an authoritative tone. Go there now. Okay, go there now. So it's wowengagementcode.com. And if you're interested in private coaching, you can either type private below and we'll contact you, or you can actually just simply send me an email at info at the institute of wow.com. So that's info at the institute of wow.com. If you're interested in private coaching and we can take over looking after your marketing for you and just give you a marketing roadmap, which uh, I think you'd find pretty damn valuable for uh, the investment that you make each month. Thanks, guys. Over and out. And uh, next Wednesday, by the way, we will get it right. It was a bit of a screw up at the beginning of this one, but we will be live next Wednesday and every subsequent Wednesday at 12 noon Queensland time and 1 p.m. Uh, New South Wales and Victorian time. So you can watch this at lunch. Different subject matters, of course, okay? And different jokes as well, I promise. Uh, so that's every Wednesday. You can have lunch with us and I think you'll find that that's, um, well, I think you'll find in between the bad dad jokes there's a bit of good content in there as well. See you then.